So you're a broke 50 year old want to learn how to code? Well, you reach right the video. Let me explain. This video is brought to you by Digilink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure freelance salary you desire. Our courses include our SQL project course, our freelance Kickstarter, our Python course, and our interview programming course, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the link below to get to our free seven step freelance guide so that we can help take your career to the next level. I'll see you guys in the course. So guys, let's jump right into this. 50 year old trying to learn how to code, there's gonna be some questions there. And I wanna make sure when you are in an interview or you're trying to get a job as a developer, you have the right answers for the interviewer or anybody you're trying to get a job for. 50 year old is a long time, guys. Not to say you can't learn how to code. All I'm saying is you have to put yourself in a position to get the job over younger candidates. And you gotta leverage the, adva the advantages you have. I wanna put that, in, uh, put that in perspective for you. But before you get started, share below all the problems you had trying to determine if you wanna learn how to code or problems you have trying to get a job as a 50 year old or 40 year old or even 20 year old. Let's go ahead and put it in the discussion. Today we're we'll talking about the 50 year old so everybody else you can still get something from the video so that you can get to this point in your career and you'll know how to operate. Same apply for you guys. So go ahead and share your um, responses in the comment section on how you have been uh, struggling to get a job or why haven't you, what made you want to start how to learn, learn how to code. Links below, uh, put your comments in the description or in the comment section. So that being said, guys, the takeaway of all this, guys, at the end of the day, as a 50 year old, the advantage you have as a 50 year old is experience and you want to leverage that in a way that's going to allow you to get advantage over younger developers you should have domain knowledge in some kind of industry you have should probably been an accountant or working in operations you have a deep knowledge in an operational field already if you don't have this and you try to learn how to code, you're going to be in a, as a, at a disadvantage because the perception of a 50 year old, you're going to want more time off. You want more, more pay and you're not going to be as flexible and moldable as a younger developer. You want to bring some additional value to overcome these perceptions, guys. And I'm going to say perceptions. It may not be true, but it's the name of the game. I want to make sure you guys are aware of the challenges and you know how to um, face them when you're in a job interview you or somebody asks you this guys so what is domain knowledge industry knowledge just say if you work for a hospital you should know from end to end the patient process how they check in what current problems what's manual what's automated what things you can do to input software in order to scale that company you should have this knowledge this is going to give you the advantage over the younger developers who don't know anything about domain knowledge. They just come code in hand thinking that they're just going to write code and be told what to do. You do not necessarily have to know what to be told what to do as far as just the industry knowledge. Yeah, you got to come in and learn the technology on the back end as far as just the coding programming language and syntax, all the technical stuff. But I always say, if you got a foundation and you know how to write code, you understand variables, arrays, the syntax, the terminology from a learning how to code perspective, I would take you any day over somebody who have all the technical knowledge and don't know how to solve problems. Because at the end of the day, the person who don't know how to solve problems, I had to babysit them the rest of their career. Somebody like you, you identify the problems, you have solutions and play in your mind, you just need to apply software and code to those solutions and I'll give you the path to that. That being said, guys, go into every situation as a 50 year old is saying, what's the problem? What's the solution with the software? And you need to take that into your interview with the actual um, interview, guys. That being said, let's, let's go over some of the, the challenges. And again, guys, I can't cover everything in this video, so I need you links below to my seven step guide. It's gonna help you guys not only get started making money and don't be broke at 50, but also put you on track so that you can have all these advantages over everybody and get started. Links below to the seven step guide. And if you already have the seven step guide, go check out some of my premium courses, guys. I got a lot of courses down there. Web, uh, SQL, Python, Java, JavaScript, all that below. Go check out some of those premium courses and support the channel. 
that being said, all right, 50 year old, you know that, hey, I'm going to learn how to code. I got my in industry knowledge. All right, right. I need to learn how to code. Is it a good idea? Yes, it's never too late to learn how to code, guys. As long as you have the problem solving ability in your head. If you come in here, um, code and hang, you coming out with your handout saying, hey, I'm 50 year old, teach me how to code from scratch. I have no knowledge, no insight, no nothing. You will struggle because just think about it from a hiring perspective. Uh, perception is you are you set in your ways you got older technology if you have any technology and you're 50 and you're still trying to start something new those are a lot of red flags guys and i want you to come into that in a position of strength bringing something to the table yeah you need to learn how to code and give you an opportunity to get this first job but you also bring a lot of benefits once they help you with the code and the syntax learn their code base you can bring something to the team that's unique that domain knowledge guys that industry knowledge being able to not only find the gaps in their team as far as just the software that needs to be built but also being able to talk about the end user perspective as well their struggles how they struggle to work the user interface in their current software platform that kind of stuff like that guys you got to have that as a 50 year old developer because let's be frank guys if you got a 23 year old developer who has the same knowledge as a 50 year old developer as far as just coding knowledge which one will you pick they're gonna pick the 23 year old every time because there's a lot of upside longevity moldability a lot of stuff there so you need to bring that domain knowledge to make it a fair fight <laughs> i'm just i'm just letting you know the challenges it's not impossible but we want to help you out so that's part about going to the seven step guide my first step learning syntax and also domain knowledge you have to be able to leverage that guy so i made some points here i want to make sure i cover everything at the end of the day uh, i knew a 50 year old developer and he necessarily didn't start out as a developer. He worked as a business analyst for years in the side of Excel, inside of our payroll department, and made a great developer because he understood the data of the company, the data flow. And he used Excel all the time. And technically he was doing a little programming all through this. He used the interface to um, Excel. And at the time it used VB to do a lot of the coding, very light DB. But somebody like that who kind of understand arrays, variable, can work in Excel, the data, know how to navigate that. And then you get them under your wings and show them the base code, how to actually write code um, and construct a application that's going to automate things. You're golden. And this guy, to this day, is a very, a very key asset, asset to that company. Not the strongest programmer from a writing code perspective, knowing all the, all the details, but from a business, knowing how the company's supposed to be ran, all that good stuff, that's where you wanna be as a older developer. That's what's gonna help you stand out, put you in the leadership position. Don't come in just trying to dictate everything. You're gonna be in a good position, guys. And at the end of the day, just get started. And the best way to do that is through the seven step guide. Links are below, guys. Like, subscribe to the content. Again, share your experience. If you're struggling, trying to get a job, or you're afraid, or you're not motivated, or you just want guidance, go ahead and put it in the description or the um, comment section below. Let's start a conversation. Like, subscribe to the content. I'll put a link to my seven step guide on the screen. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.